Welcome everyone. During this webinar, we will show how BIM Callup can be used to improve your BIM workflow when using Autodesk Navisworks and Revit. In a standard BIM workflow, models are shared between the designers and those who will perform the model checking. BIM Callup closes the loop and ensures that the issue data is similarly shared between the teams. We will start our demonstration in Navisworks, where I have loaded a federated model. Going to the Clash Detective, I have defined a number of Clash tests, which I can perform and then review the results. Once done, I can then go to the BIM Callup BCF Manager, connect to my space and project, and then proceed to import the Clash test results into BIM Callup. I have the option to select one or more Clash tests and import all of the results, or to choose a specific Clash test and select specific Clash test results to import. During the import, I can already assign metadata to the new issues. For instance, I can set the area, as well as labels, which can be used later for searching and filtering. When I start the import, we convert the clashes to BCF style issues. Each issue contains a snapshot as well as viewpoint information which was, will allow me to recreate the views from the clashes. In a similar way, I can use the import function to import issues from say viewpoints as well, or I can choose to create an issue directly using the BCF Manager. Once I am done creating my issues, I can then proceed to synchronize those issues to BIM Callup. When I am ready, I can start managing my issues using the web application. There I will find a full list of all issues that have been uploaded to BIM Callup. From there, I can start reviewing the issues, and when needed, I can edit them as well. Any changes made to the issues from the web application are immediately available to all team members. The web application provides powerful filtering as well as the ability to multi-edit issues as well. As issues are being assigned, the team members will receive email notifications. When they are ready to start resolving the issues, they can connect to BIM Callup using the BCF Manager, in this case, the BCF Manager for Revit. There they will have access to all issues in the project. Using the filter, they can limit the list, for instance, to only those issues assigned to them. For each issue, they will have access to the snapshot, all metadata, as well as any comments made. Using the Zoom to function, they can recreate the viewpoint of this clash. As you can see, some components are missing. This is because Revit does not allow us to have access to components found in linked files. To still be able to work on the issue, you can use the section box feature. With the section box in place, we can now see the clash in full 3D context and get to work on resolving it. Once resolved, we can create a new reference file and share it with the team. Having loaded the updated reference file, I can update my clash tests, and I will find that indeed some of the clashes have been resolved. To update BIM Callup, connect to the space and project, and perform the import again. This time, I will limit the import to only to update the issues. And it will do that based on the current 
clash status. By following this process, we can work towards resolving all of the clashes.